Today's video is going to be a faves and fails video. If you are not familiar with these types of videos or you're new to my channel, basically what I like to do is I have a bag here that I put products that I've all used up and once I fill up this bag, it usually takes about a month or two for me to fill it up, I come back and I let you guys know if these are products that are faves of mine or were total fails. So I have a lot of products to talk about so I'm not going to make this a super long intro. Let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out of here is this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Body Wash. I love this. I've actually talked about this in my last faves and fails video. I really, really love this stuff. I got mine from CVS and it smells so, so good and I just love it. It makes your skin feel so super soft and moisturized when you get out the shower and I just love it. So I would definitely recommend that. Of course, hand sanitizer. I just kind of threw this in here because this is the assured kind that they have at the Dollar Tree and for some reason it leaves this like residue on my hands so I don't know if anybody else is having that issue but yeah I wasn't really feeling that one this month and then this looks super gross but this is one of the e.l.f makeup sponges and I wanted to talk about this because this is something that I recently discovered at my local Walgreens I want to say I think it was Walgreens that had it but you're supposed to use it to apply your foundation and I hated it for that it made my foundation just look really streaky and just not really good but what I do like this for it's just carrying it in your makeup bag. Like if you're oily like me and you can just kind of use it to pat. I feel like this works a lot better for touching up than like using a setting spray or the blotting papers. Because I get like so super oily. Blotting papers do nothing for me. So I have one of these that I keep in my makeup bag just to touch up throughout the day. And I really, really love it. So I would definitely recommend that. When it comes in a pack of three, it's like three dollars so they're very inexpensive the next thing I have I finally used up all of my Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom body spray this smells so so good you guys like I have been ride or die cherry blossom since I don't know probably like high school I really really love it and I feel like they've reformulated the formula of this because you used to spray this and then it wouldn't really like last throughout the day but this one even like lunchtime and then when I was getting off I could still smell it on myself so I really like that so that's a good one if you want to check that out this lotion is bomb this is the Vaseline intensive care essential healing lotion I love this my husband and I both use it I've talked about this before so so good it's really really good if you have dry skin it's supposed to heal dry cracked skin in three weeks and it has little droplets of Vaseline in it which makes it just super moisturizing but it's not like super greasy you know it's like that perfect balance in the middle so I definitely would recommend that Okay, this has been like my new, new, new toothpaste that I have been loving lately. This is the Colgate Optic White Sparkling White Toothpaste. I love this. I was looking for something to whiten my teeth, but I really didn't want to do like the gels or, you know, any of that other stuff. So basically, I've just been using this and my... um electric toothbrush and it works really really good so if you're looking for a more affordable alternative for brightening your teeth then check this toothpaste out they sell it at my local dollar tree i think um the first time i tried it i got it from the drugstore but yeah you may be able to find it at the dollar tree now but if you can go ahead and check it out because it's really really good makeup wipes of course I use the Burt's Bees Sensitive ones. I really didn't like these. They had this weird medicine type smell to it. And I just didn't care for the smell. It was really, really good because it's for sensitive eyes. And you guys know I'm so prone to like eye puffiness and eye infections. So I like that this was for sensitive eyes. I just didn't care for the smell. And then I have 
another body wash this is the dial miracle oil um body wash infused with marula oil this is so so good it smells really good and it makes your skin really really soft when you get out the shower so i definitely like that i finally got on the sonia kashuk bandwagon and i tried out this brush and sponge cleaner by sonia kashuk got this at target and it was really really good like i was surprised because it was only like seven dollars so sometimes drugstore stuff you know if it's cheap, then it doesn't work as well as you think it will. But honestly, this was really good. I mean, I've used higher-end brush cleaners that did not get my brushes as clean as this did. I will tell you, though, this is definitely for deep cleaning. If you're looking for, like, something you can just spray on your brushes every day, this is not going to do anything. But if you want something that you can actually, like, deep clean your brushes with, this is really, really good. So definitely check that out. Of Clean and Clear Makeup Wipes that you guys know I love. This Degree deodorant, you guys know I love that. That's I've been using Degree like forever. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this mascara. This is the City Color Be Bold 3 times Volume and Length Mascara. And this is what the brush itself looks like. So it has a very spiky, crazy looking brush. I really, really love this mascara. I'm actually thinking about repurchasing it online. This actually came in my Ipsy bag, so... I'm not sure where they would actually sell this if you can even get this in store, but I know you can get it online and it's so, so good. It separates your lashes, it lengthens them, it curls them. I mean, it, it's like a lash curler and lash plumper and mascara all in one. I love this mascara, so I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that. The Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is okay. This is what the brush looks like. I know everybody on YouTube talks about this mascara like it's just the best thing ever. I actually didn't purchase this. This came in a sampler set that I got from Sephora. And it's just okay. Like to me, I don't feel like it's anything special about it. It didn't make my lashes look good. I mean, I feel like I could have used one of my drugstore mascaras and got the exact same results. So I don't know what the hype is about this mascara, but it just really didn't do anything for me. Now, this is a hair product that, girl, girl, you need this in your life. You do. This is the Cool Way Smoothing Lotion. This came in my BoxyCharm a while back. Now, when I wear, like, my natural hair, like, how my hair is now, I do put relaxers in my hair, okay? And when I wear it on just my relaxed hair, it really doesn't do anything. It's supposed to um, smooth frizz and, you know, kind of get the flyaways together. And on my natural hair, like I said, it doesn't really do anything. But, girl, when I put my hair extensions weave in my hair, oh, my God, like, the weave that I'm currently basically wearing, I've done like maybe four or five installs with my Loose Body Waves hair. And I love this product for that because when I decide that I don't want to wear it super wavy and I want to straighten it and flat iron it, oh my god. This right here, it straightens my hair, it conditions it. I mean, it just makes my hair look so, so good. So... I'm not sure what this retails for. Um, I'm going to go online and purchase another one. So if I find that information by the time I edit this video, I will put below what this retails for. But this is so, so good. Love that. I don't know. I use like a lot of hair products this month. But this is the Lester's Pink Shining Jam. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you should if you don't. And I will link all my social media below. But yeah, if you follow me on Snapchat, I know you've heard me talk about how bomb this is. Like this is holy grail edge control right here. Like there's nothing else that I will use to slick my edges down. Like when my hair is natural, I'll just kind of pull this side behind my ear and I'll use it for that. When I have my sew-ins in, I pretty much use it all over to 
get my front edges together if I'm wearing it up sometimes I'll do it on my back edges you know just to smooth my ponytail down and this is so so good I love it because it really does a great job controlling your edges but it doesn't make your hair super hard it doesn't leave any of that white cakiness in your hair so if you decide that you want to wear your hair down or you don't want to wear your hair back throughout the day you know you could just comb it out and it's not going to make your hair super heavy and greasy and I just love this so this is so so bomb if you're looking for something really good for edge control you should definitely check that out couple products I want to talk about this is a lipstick that obviously I haven't used this all up but I just threw it in here because I just don't like this this is the NYC lipstick in shade 316 blossom super pretty color it's just a super pretty pink color I will actually swatch it so you can see so it's a very frost type finish super pretty pink color I love the color and I wore it a couple times with no issues and then the last time that I wore it I don't know what happened but I just wore this by itself I didn't have any other gloss or anything over it and it just made my lips feel really like it had this film on it like it just made it feel really like not really dry and cracky, but it was like a residue on my lips. I don't know. It just felt really weird. So I was like, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to toss that. But usually I love NYC lipstick. So I don't know if that was just a bad one or what happened. But yeah, I won't be using that anymore. This next product that I want to talk about, I haven't completely used this up, but I just don't like it. And I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Cece, you don't like that, but I don't. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Honey. I got this for concealing not really concealing more so like brightening like underneath my eye area and just doing like my face highlight and I use this for a couple months with like no issues at all and then I started using my better skin and then I went back to this one and it just did not look good like it just gave me like I already have like a little bit of puffiness under my eyes anyway but when I put this under my eye and I blended it out with my beauty blender it just made my eyes look like I was 10 years older I mean I started getting these little wrinkles under my eyes and I just didn't like it and I was so so upset because I've had this for like a year now and I paid a lot of money for this because this NARS concealer is not cheap and I really wanted to love it but it just didn't look good on me anymore so yeah I'm gonna be tossing that out the next thing I wanted to talk about is this pure silk um, shaving cream that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love this. I have been ride or die for this. I actually found out about this on my wedding day. I asked my sister to go and get me some shaving cream when I was getting ready for my wedding and this is what she got me and ever since then I have been hooked. I don't have any issues with chafing or cutting or anything while I'm shaving so this is really really good. Love that. The next thing that I used up is a eye pencil by Urban Decay. This is a 24-7 glide on lip pencil in ozone. And basically, you use this to kind of go around your lips and clean up any um, errors that you made while you're applying lips. You can use it as a lip primer, but you can also use it just to kind of clean up your lipstick. I did not like this. Like, I got this in my Ipsy bag. I already had a similar product, so I was like, well, I just throw it in my makeup bag, you know, just in case. And when I went to use it, the, it's, you know, you have to sharpen it. And so I went to sharpen it, and the whole product just, like, came out and broke. So I was like, mm -mm. won't be repurchasing that, but yeah, that's what's in there. This is bum. I'm telling you, bomb. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. This is holy grail for filling in your pores if you have visible pores and just smoothing out your complexion. Oh my god. I use this 
before my makeup and i'm telling you it is so 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 good like better than the benefit professional that kind of go back and forth between the two of these and i had never tried this before this actually came in a primer set that i got from sephora and let me tell you girl i can't wait to go back and get me another one of these because it is so 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 good i love it couple more products in here to talk about okay Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. Y'all know this is bae. I'm like on my third bottle of this and it's, I have it on my skin right now and it just makes my skin look so flawless. The coverage is amazing. It blends out just beautifully. You can use it with a brush. You can use it with a beauty blender. It is just awesome and it's drugstore so you know it's affordable. I love it. And then I went through yet another one of my Sephora Solid Brush Cleaners. It looks like that. It just has the little soap inside and you can use this to clean your sponges or you can use it to clean your brushes. I love it for both. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. And then I went through this Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm and this is the Peach Kiss. It's the purple one. And I really, really like this. The only thing I would say about this is sometimes it does cling to those fine lines that you have in your lips. So if you're going to look at the baby lips, I would get the blue one that's like the medicated one. I haven't had any issues with that one, but this one's really, really good. The Albertini International Divine Skin Hydrator. And basically, you're supposed to put this on your skin right after you shower and it's supposed to lock in moisture hated it like I felt like that was the most pointless product ever like it didn't do anything it was just like nothing like why just no don't buy it don't just no it was not good and then my all-time favorite brow pencil I'm in the Anastasia brow with bandwagon like I'm wearing the dip brow right now it's what I used to do my brows today and this pencil with the dip brow Oh my god, girl, you need this. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm in the color Auburn. I use Auburn in the Dip Brow Wiz. I use Auburn in both colors, and it's just so, so good. Like, this gives MAC a run for their money, I'm telling you, because I used to always, y'all know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I used to go hard for my MAC Brow Pencil and Shred. Like, that was my jam. And this actually lasts longer. They're both retractable, but this one actually comes with a spoolie side, which is great. And this just lasts longer to me, and it's a couple dollars cheaper than the matte one, so you know. There it is. Okay, and then I used up my NYX Matte Finish setting spray which i love this stuff i hate that it's only a 2.3 ounce bottle because i go through these so so quickly but they're bomb i did not go through this but i just didn't like this this is the laura mercier lip gloss in what is this shade I don't know if it's on here it's too small for me to read but it's like a peach color it came in a sampler and the color is really nice, but applying it, it just like clung to all of the lines in my lips and it just made my lips look really patchy and I did not care for that. Okay, almost at the bottom, just have a couple more things in here. Another hand sanitizer that we talked about before. This It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer ew like it's so dry it's drying and it's thick and it's just so difficult to blend out and uh i hated that i went with a recommendation that someone gave me on youtube to try out this nyx wonder pencil i don't know like everybody talks about this like this is just the bomb and I did not care for this. I just didn't like, it just made my eyes look really like witchcrafty. It just looked like Annabelle or something. It just, it didn't look good. It's supposed to brighten up your eyes and just make you look more awake. And I didn't care for that. And then of course, I talked about this earlier, my Benefit Professional. I go between this and my Dr. Brandt. Of course, this is cheaper than the Dr. Brandt, but I feel like the Dr. Brandt is definitely worth investing the money into because it works so, so good. So back and forth between the two of those. 
finally used up this Makeup Forever lipstick in Rouge Artist Natural that came in my birthday sampler from Sephora like two years ago. It was just sitting in the bottom of my makeup bag and it's a very pretty neutral color so I was like let me go ahead and use this so I finally used that up. Then you know this is my ride or die for shine control. This is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier Moisturizer. I am obsessed with this stuff. I absolutely love it. It's great. See, Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum that I got out of my Ipsy bag. Love, love mixing that with my foundation and it just gives you a little bit more of a glow. This was actually gifted to me. This is the Kat Von D Studded Lipstick in Noble. It looks like that, so it's just a very pretty neutral color. It's a pretty color, but I just didn't like it on me, maybe because I'm so light, it just washed me out, so I don't know. I didn't really care for that. And then I used up my Maybelline, Maybelline, my Mary Kay, um, what is this? This is like the cooling eye gel, the, yeah, the Indo Soothing Eye Gel. And it just comes in a little tub like that. And you basically, you can put this all over your face if you want. But it's really for like under eye bags and circles. And it's just supposed to like smooth and hydrate that area. I like it for that. I actually would put this in the refrigerator. And when I would get ready in the morning, I would actually put it underneath my eyes to kind of prep for my concealer. So it's really, really good for that. Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, which I absolutely love. If you have dry skin, you need this in your life. If you have oily skin, I mean, it's nice, but it really doesn't do a whole lot for oily skin. And it dries really quickly, so you do have to work really fast with this. And then I used up my Star Looks Gloss and Cuddle that I got for my Ipsy bag. And I really, really love this color. So I will re repurchase that. And last but not least, I tried this out recently and I was just like, ugh, I don't like this. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer, which I don't have dark circles, but I wanted it for under eye highlighting. So I got the lightest shade to have, which is fair, as you can see. Really haven't used this. I've only used this like maybe once or twice, and it just didn't do anything. It didn't highlight. It didn't conceal anything. It just... Ugh, just didn't do anything so yeah that is everything sorry that this is a long video but I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about like I told you before so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching definitely like this video um comment below any questions you have about products that I talked about or any tutorials or reviews or any video requests that you have leave them below definitely subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you do not miss any uploads from me and I love you guys thank you so so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video bye